And welcome to your Go Market Rating Charts of the Day. It's Friday the 21st of July. I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. But just to end the week, let's have a look at where we're at in the middle of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw a mixed night in the US. Defensive sectors ruled. Nasdaq, as expected, suffered from some tech earnings jitters after the previous days, reporting from Tesla and Netflix. The Dow actually closed high, was the only index to do so to hit 12-month highs and record the ninth straight day of gains. Earnings are likely to dominate headlines again next week, along with the Fed rate decision, which comes out on the 26th. US futures are slightly lower in Asian session, just a little bit of follow-through from last night. Asian markets are generally following that weak US lead with the ASX, currently around 0.35% lower. European futures are pointing to a cautious open, around about neutral at this stage, and the VIX still remains historically low, despite last night. The US dollar index moved to the highs of the week but still looks under downside pressure. As a result, we saw a retracement in gold and copper, both edging downwards from the previous day. Oil was up slightly and still may test the 200 EMA again over the course of the next couple of trading days. Earnings season does continue today, although it is a slightly quieter day on Friday, but it does ramp up next week. Japanese CPI was slightly cooler than expected. And we have UK and Canadian retail sales later on today. Just a couple of charts that caught our interest today. Service Stream Limited had a nice pop higher in today's session, up in excess of 3%. This is challenging this previous high at around 84 cents. We did actually get up to around about 85 and a half, but we've just pulled back to that previous resistance. So not yet trend continuation. Worthwhile seeing where this sits towards the back end of the day. And as you can see, if we look historically, this does look like a key level also. We may even see this up towards a dollar a share should we breach this key level here. In the FX world, we're seeing the Australian dollar move back down to that 200 EMA again. It did test it yesterday. Looks a little shy today again. I'm just going to put a line there just so you can have it for reference as we go to a smaller time frame. And you can see we are slightly weaker in this Asian session short-term support around about 67.75 but it will be interesting to see if we get a move back down to here or whether we get another bounce and possibly back up towards 78.30 as we progress during the day the jury's out on this it could go either way worthwhile having a look at later in the day and certainly if we do breach this key level at 67.50 we could get some significant selling trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now